Welcome back, people. You're still on to Wake Up Nigeria. Now let's talk relationship. And today we focus on the role of emotional intelligence in relationships. And today we have Blessing Ofoga. She's an HR professional and an emotional intelligence specialist. She's passionate about building and sustaining healthy and lasting relationships. Good morning. Good morning, ma'am. You look beautiful. Thank morning. you, Blessing. <laughs> it's such a pleasure to have you with us. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. <laughs> it is said that emotional intelligence is the secret to a long-lasting relationship. It is. And though um, a lot of people really do not even understand what emotional intelligence is. Mm. So please, enlighten us. Okay. Thank you, first and foremost, for having me. Emotional intelligence, like you have said, is something that everyone needs to have. It, everybody needs to have it. And it is basically being smart with your feelings. It is um, being able to identify your feelings, being able to understand them, and then manage them. But not just your feelings, the feelings of other people, which is why relationships are about two people. Mm -hmm. So if you understand your own feelings, you also need to be able to understand and manage the other person's feelings. Now yeah. let's talk about the importance. Why should I exhibit emotional intelligence in my relationship? Why is this important? Somebody watching right now is like, I'm fine in my relationship. Why yeah. do I need emotional intelligence? Okay, it's about two people, relationships. Two different people who come from two different backgrounds. They've had different experiences, you know, their belief systems have been shaped by maybe the different environments in which they grew up in, you know, even if when oh, we meet each other, we think that we're compatible, we want to get married or want to stay together as we grow older, in fact, as we live together, you know, different things happen, situations happen that would even change or maybe swap the way we see things. Mm -hmm, Do you mm -hmm, understand? Mm -hmm. And as such, we even have different egos mm -hmm. competing all the time. Mm -hmm. That especially mm -hmm. is the essence of emotional intelligence in relationships. All the right. fact that two, those two egos always compete. All know. right. Now let's talk about building it. Yes, because it's one thing to have it and there's another thing to build it. It's, sure. a, it's something that you have to be constantly intentional constantly. about. So tell us, how do you build it in a relationship? Okay, I need people to understand first and foremost that emotional intelligence is not, uh, it's not, a, it's not, it's not a destination. Mm. It is a process, mm. you know. So mm. you need, it takes time. In fact, today, even me that I say that I'm an emotional intelligence specialist, sometimes I just go off, you know, and after then I come back and say, okay, maybe I could have reacted differently. Reality hits you, especially you when understand? you're facing that So situation. the thing is, like I've said, it is intentional mm. every day. You know, be intentional about, First, you understand that at this point, this is what I'm feeling. Mm. When you identify that feeling, uh, you then try to understand why am I feeling what I am feeling at this time. Mm. So the thing about it is because people don't take the time to understand why we're feeling, and it's our perception. Okay. Nothing makes meaning except the meaning you give to it. Mm. So I could say... Preach, preacher. I could say, amen, you're stupid. And you laugh about it. But in the different situation, I could say that I like, why are you insulting me? Mm. So nothing makes meaning except the meaning we give to it, which is why, like I said, it's a process. When you're feeling a particular feeling, first try to understand why am I feeling the way I'm feeling. If you try to understand that, you'll be able to manage it. Take time. Give your, most times we need to pause. People just need to pause sometimes and in situations, just pause. Take a pause. So for what you I'm know. hearing you say right now is, you need to be self-aware. Self-awareness is key. Very important. All right, now let's talk about um, your partner okay. not being emotionally intelligent. Okay. Especially if you have an egoistic partner who is saying, I mean, you already are aware. You already have this skill. You're, uh, you know, you're practicing it already in your relationship. But you see that it's very lagging in your partner and that would always cause a conflict. Mm -hmm. How do you close that gap? How do you help your partner to meet you halfway in that regard? That is where effective communication comes in. Mm -hmm. uh, they say that um, in relationships, for relationships to thrive, three things are key. Okay. Or three things are most important. One, effective communication. Then there's the part of great love making. I didn't Ooh. say sex. Great love making. Please, that's to tell me what the difference is. And then there's money. <laughs> We're not going to go into that today. So it's effective communication being the first thing. Okay, your emotional intelligence, your partner is, your partner isn't. You have to be able to communicate effectively. Mm -hmm. If you're emotionally intelligent, it means that you're able to be aware per time of how your partner is feeling or the changes in their emotions. So by the time you're able to 
not, you notice those changes in those in, in, in the way they feel or in their emotions. You understand? You're You'll able to able address to, it. You are able to address part time mm. what they're feeling. You're able mm. to know where to even approach them. Mm. You know, not when maybe he's sometimes give him time and mm. then you go back. You know how so, especially if the partner is a male. Mm. And you know how sometimes now we women know how to just catch these males and say, yeah. babe, what's up? But you know again, like I've said, it's ego, it's a battle of the egos. Mm. If you're an emotionally intelligent person, sometimes you understand that you need to keep your ego aside. Especially because relationships require work. So sometimes we put our egos aside and because we want the relationship to work, put the ego aside. But effective communication, if I say something I need to be sure that the person understands exactly what I'm saying. Mm. Like I said, I say, oh, M.M., you're stupid, you know. And then if we're friends, you can just take that as... Shove it, yeah, shove you know. it aside. Like, but I can say the same thing to the same person in a different situation, and they'll take it differently. What if the person is not a good listener? Mm -hmm. Because we also have people that are no listeners. They're just talking, eh, okay, I, I think I understand, but then they don't. Uh, well, the thing about communication is, especially, again, in this part of our culture, we just, um, we don't, most times we don't listen. We just, people, someone saying something, mm. you're just listening to judge. So emotional intelligence says... Actually listen, not listen to judge. When you listen, you will hear even what the person is not saying. Mm. The non-verbal communication. You read between the views. lines, Sometimes yeah. The you know, body language, your facial expressions. That. It helps you. It helps you be able Thank to Thank you so issues. much, Blessing. If I tell you that I did not learn anything from this <laughs> discussion, <laughs> I know I'm lying. <laughs> yes, yes, I actually did. Thank you so much for this conversation. I'm, oh, yeah. I'm <laughs> hoping that somebody watching right now has learned one or two things about emotional intelligence. If you're still confused about it, go online and research on it. Right now, we have to head over to the kitchen. There's so much cooking and... Mm, it feels the air in the studio.